hi guys welcome to yourpedia education so today isc bangalore is done with the first stage of the shortlisting that is shortlisting on the basis of the gate score and you know the final selection in isc bangalore is not only on the basis of gate score there are some subsequent stages also in most of the specialization there is interview and there are many specialization two to three specialization in which there is only written test next right so the respective department have already communicated to the student who have applied and who are shortlisted for this next stage through the email you can check the email see you will be not getting this offer on the cop many students are confused on cop you will be getting the final selection this is not yet the final selection this is basically your first round process or first stage process right so there are many students who are shortlisted if i talk about the electronics electrical instrumentation students so student from mtech specialization like signal processing robotics and autonomous system artificial intelligence electronic system engineering electronic and communication engineering electronic product design semiconductor technology instrumentation system and electrical engineering and microelectronics and vlsi design they all are shortlisted and they have received the respective email now what is the venue for some of the specialization the venue is offline you need to visit isc bangalore and for very few it's online also so it's their on call all the department work independently so you, you can't do anything else if you have filled you got the call you got the selection call for the next stage then you need to follow their instruction and similarly in some of the you know basically department they have communicated the exact date and time also and other might be communicating very soon right so this is the information now guys how to prepare for written test and interview like for artificial intelligence there is written test so if you don't know coding you don't have a very strong hand in coding so i never suggest student to go and start learning coding you can play purely on the basis of the mathematics so try to make a good hold over the mathematics like statistics probability linear algebra calculus so these are the very important topic and i believe they have attached even some sample paper with the call letter if i'm not wrong otherwise there are many sample paper available on the isc portal so you can check that sample paper so my suggestion is you can play directly on the mathematics only yes if you have some prior experience in the coding then you can prepare that a bit so that i am guiding already student so apart from this if you are getting interview call from the instrumentation and applied physics electronics and communication electrical engineering so then there are few things which you need to prepare very clearly see i always believe whenever you are getting interview call so there are four to five areas which you need to focus so you can see i have written at the very first is understand the program second is revise your basic third is be aware of the current research four is prepare for general question fifth is practice mock so these are very important area so i have made this for one instrumentation and applied physics so don't go after whatever i have written just focus on the title see now if we talk about the electronics and communication and electrical so student not don't know exactly what kind of research area they will be getting once they get once they get enrolled into this program so for that guys you need to do this first step the first step is understand the program you need to visit the isc bangalore website and you can see in electrical department or electrical engineering what are the different kind of area they have clearly mentioned you will be getting or you will get opportunity to work with so try to make some environment in your mind related to that see now you have studied 8 to 10 subject in electrical engineering and 8 to 10 subject in electronics and communication and same for instrumentation gate but you don't need to prepare all the subject for the interview you need to prepare the subject according to the specialization and which you believe are relevant to that specialization in which you want to proceed your career ahead and apart from this guys you are going for any kind of specialization mathematics is very important isc and iit professor always grill you on the mathematics second thing they never ask you very difficult question keep this thing out of mind that they are being iit professor asking you tough thing no they always start judging your fundamental if you are able to make justice in the very basic and fundamental things then you will get through but the problem is the student who are preparing for the gate exam they believe that they need to prepare the toughest level see for interview there is nothing toughest if your basic and concepts and fundamentals are clear then you can answer any of the questions right so very first point is don't prepare all the subject randomly so you need to do bit of the program research understand the program and accordingly you will get to know okay let us suppose under electrical engineering there might be some area of power electronics some area of the power system some area of the drives and machine also 
so obviously you need to configure what is strong part for you you need to prepare that area right so you don't need to tell all the subject of the electrical engineering similarly if you talk about the electronic system engineering you don't need to prepare communication more than right you don't need to prepare emft so you need to prepare analog digital these kind of the subject same for the microelectronics and vlsi you need to prepare edc digital network in a network for vlsi only rc circuit concept is very very important reason being See in VLSI domain wave shaping is a very very important process and we usually use the RC circuit for the wave shaping. So you must be doing very clearly how capacitor transient behave for different kind of the waveform that is important topic. Apart from this some information of the filter you must have you don't need to go into depth of other topic also. Obviously if you are going for the signal processing specialization then you must have a really good hand over the mathematics and signal and system. If you are going for the robotics and autonomous system then you must be really good in your project. And if your project is something related to the control system, microcontroller, embedded, IoT based, then they can grill you really well. Is it clear? And you must be really well in the mathematics. So guys, the point is, ultimate conclusion is that when you are starting preparation for the interview, so you don't need to prepare randomly. You need to first configure what are the subject which I need to prepare as per the demand of this program or as per the demand of this specialization. And second thing is your BTEC project that is very very important. In BTEC project you need to prepare four to five section what was your role, what was the experimental methodology, any kind of the tool software you have used, what was the result and conclusion and what was the objective and what was the research problem. So in interview you need to also play very smartly and I believe in BTEC the students are not doing project individually. It's a group of the four to five students who do the project, right? So if you believe something there was difficult, so don't show it that that was your part. So they just want to justify whatever you claim there whether you possess knowledge related to that or not. There might be many students who are coming after some working experience in some TCS, some Infosys, some other kind of the IT industry, right? So definitely they will ask you question about your role, what you were doing there and in past in IAC professor have asked you question. So guys this is a brief of how to start preparation for the interview. The point is conclusion is that you don't need to randomly waste invest your time in random subject. You need to first configure okay as per this specialization what are the subject and what are the specific area in that subject which I need to prepare. Now if I talk about the electronics and communication, most of the interview goes on the mathematics, probability, binomial distribution, poison distribution, most of the interviews. So you must be prepared into that area as well, right? So finally concluding, we wish you at your PD education all the best for your academic pursuit and coming written test and interview. And we are basically exhaustively guiding and mentoring the student for the interview and written test. So you can attend mock interview with us and you can connect our executive. Thank you.